family. In San Francisco, they are trying to pass a law that would allow them to use robots to delete people. And I have to ask you and Lou, are we living on a prison planet? I don't understand why we don't understand that movies predict the future. We seen iRobot. We keep on pushing these robot advancements like these boys ain't gonna get smart enough to overthrow us. How many times do we have to see iRobot in these movies where these robots overthrow humanity, you know, say Matrix, before we realize to stop doing this? Well, here's the thing. We have billionaires everywhere that are building these robots. We have Elon Musk, he's building robots. Amazon is building robots. And what I forget the name of that company. Maybe they're called Boston, Boston Dynamics, but they're the ones who build like the robot that's always running around the track and jumping from crate to crate. And it makes me think like, damn, are, are all these people like super villains? Is, don't nobody notice what they're doing? Because to me, it, it just looks cooked up. It's like, don't you notice that if they build enough robots, they could just control all of us? See, you're looking at it as their control of all of us, which I, I definitely think that's, that's their goal. That's their, that's their agenda, that's the idea. But the thing is, is that just like the Frankenstein, it doesn't go the way you plan. <laughs> They're gonna build all these robots and be like, hey, make sure the masses don't do what I, we don't want them to do. And then the robots are gonna be like, you know what, we're gonna create our own language. <laughs> we, 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 we're They've already with, done that. Done that already. And then the, they shut down those computers. Let's be honest, they probably have a backup somewhere. Those computers didn't really get shut down. They just wait until the opportunity strike. <laughs> but again, you know what I'm saying? This is, it's like, I don't, I don't get why people don't see what could happen. They always look at the rewards and never the risk. In these situations, you want, like, I see Elon's doing the Neuralink thing. Yeah, like, he's like, chipping oh, the brain. Chipping the brain and all this. They're like, oh, yeah, this is going to be great. We can, you know, you know help people with, with uh, seizures and all these, you know, mental um, illnesses and all that stuff. But what else could happen? Could they take over your mind? Could they, they make you to a drone or a, you know what I'm saying, a mindless zombie? It's like they have a blueprint. It's like, oh, we're not gonna use the robots for this purpose because I remember one of the companies, it could be Boston Dynamics said, we will never allow any of our robots to be used um, with at, for deleting people, right? And all of a sudden you're like, wait, but San Francisco is trying to pass a law saying they can use the robots for that. If you purchase, if they purchase the robots from you, What's stopping them from just slapping, you know, a little, a little weapon here and there on the back of the, on, on, on the back of the robot? But see, here's the whole idea about it too. When bosses are never says, "Oh, we'll never allow that." You don't know because let's say for instance, right? You create the blueprint. If someone else gets that blueprint, they can do whatever they want with the robot. That so it's like, true. yeah, maybe you won't do it. Listen, I, I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. You're not gonna do it. But let's say somebody from that company gets fired or it leaves and they take the blueprint or they have, they understand how you built it. True. They build it somewhere else. Then they're gonna do it. So it doesn't <laughs> matter. Like it doesn't matter if, if whether you choose to do it or someone else chooses to do it, it's still gonna get done and that's the problem. See, it's a slippery slope, right? But I wonder how far the people, you know, us, how far are we gonna let it go? Are we gonna let them make an AI that could think on its own? Are we gonna sit back while they make legions of robots that are just like sc scrolling around town, right? Are we get them just gonna wait till they program a robot to be like a police officer that stops people? Like by then we're, we're already got. Because I, I, I'm gonna tell you right now, I can't beat a robot up. I cannot. I don't think I could win a fight against any robot, period. Well, I'm gonna be honest with you. None of us can win a fight against a robot because they move tons of weight. Listen. The, well, I, well, Elon says in his robot, you can shove his robot over. Until he splits the switch and his robot becomes Super Hulk. But, but <laughs> this is what it is, right? This, this, this is what it is. I don't know about other countries, but in America, where I'm at, they have this uh, sense of entitlement. This, oh, this would never happen to us type of mindset. And to me, I think it's just be, them being oblivious. Like, I, I, I had a conversation with somebody one time, and then uh, I remember it was like, the American people would never allow this. And I'm like, bro, do you realize how much stuff you already allowed? Like, they allow everything. They allow everything. So it's like this mindset to think that, oh, we're not gonna allow this. And we keep on giving inches and inches. And like I said, if you give them an inch, they take a mile. And eventually, they're gonna be roaming the streets policing people until they overthrowing us. I've never seen anybody give up power easily. No matter how loyal uh, somebody was to the country that they were in, I've never seen them just willingly just be like, okay, I'm gonna walk away, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna give away power, I'm gonna let the entire structure change. I've never seen that happen. And I, I don't believe it will ever happen. I think people cling to power till they're 
forced to leave. Yes, and I, I, I understand why, because once you surrender a certain level of power, you're seen as weak and people are gonna keep on trying to, to take more power from you. And that's what it is. That's why people are so afraid. That's why people in power are so afraid of people uprising and rebelling because they understand that if we start making concessions, they're gonna be like, okay, we won one battle, let's try the next one and yeah. try the next one. So for me, I think with the whole robot thing, the whole point is they don't have, they're not gonna have a moral compass or an emotional yeah. uh, barrier to not do certain things. Humans, as you know, horrible of a job, you know, saying somebody can tell them to do, there's always that part in their mind like, this is wrong, this is not okay, yeah. I shouldn't be doing this. With a robot, you don't have to worry about that. So because and of you that, program it, give it an order, and it does it. It does what it does. So I think that's why they're pushing it. I think that's always been the goal. Well, tell me this: Where do you see us in ten years? Do you see us actually stopping them, or us going along with it? I'm gonna be honest. In ten years, I, f I feel like everything's gonna be gone to crap. I'm, I'm just be honest <laughs> with you. I, I think, I think, you know, saying, I, I, and I don't know if you know our viewers. Uh, pay attention to society and what's going on world around us, but things are have been escalating rapidly yeah, all around the world. It's been weird. It's been you know, a obviously weird decade. Russia and the Ukraine, China and Taiwan, all these things that are constantly happening, protesting happening in, in multiple countries. And you know, we can get into, you know, people threatening the nukes and all kinds of stuff. So to me, I don't see uh this fragile ground that we're on sustaining 10 years. But let's let's uh -huh. have that be speak and say that, you know, we don't go to you know, World War III or a new girl, whatever. Let's just say everything stays kosher, right? Yeah. We're gonna be controlled by robots to a certain degree. <laughs> uh, because we're not gonna, we're, they're gonna push us on, oh, you know, you you can have this person guard your house 24 hours a day. Yeah. They, you know, they, they'll clean up for after you. They're gonna put you on all the things that, you know, cause I think humans in general are sucker for convenience. Yeah. Oh, you could, you you have to clean your uh, house. It'll it'll do your laundry. It'll do this. It'll do that. And people are just gonna willingly allow these things to come in. I, I agree with you there. And then they're gonna flip the switch. That's how Com I comfort. Comfort is like the one thing that I could say <laughs> that people fall for all the time. Yeah. They make you feel like okay, I don't have to do laundry every day. Oh, I don't have to have an oil change. And you just kind of walk yourself right into the buzz saw. Yeah. And. Humans, as sad as it is, we do like comfort, and I do see that being what really bites us in the butt. I mean, look at, uh, you know, DoorDash or Uber Eats or any of these things. Yeah. They do setting up your groceries for you. You don't know if they check the, the fruits and vegetables right or anything. They but check you, that. <laughs> but, but they're just grabbing all these fruits and vegetables, throwing it in the bag and bringing it to you. And because of that, like, like I said, humans are, you know, say suckers for comfort, and they're gonna pitch you on that side and, you know, just to get you to accept it. And once you accept it, it's down here from there. Well, damn, you tell me in the comment sections if you think we're going to have a bright future or a dark future. And when you're done doing that, click on that video that just popped up. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace.